In this video, I will show you a quick overview of the portal starter experience in UI Builder, which you can use as a starting point to customize and configure applications. It's meant to be a single page portal experience to get your pages up and running quickly. The UI Builder portal that you see here is a starter experience limited in its breadth and scope, tailored to the low code approach. Let's talk about what you can do in the UI Builder portal. Portals are meant to be simple and not have a lot of destinations and links to other pages. You can create landing pages as well as search. You can search for other pages. You can create and view requests. You can view knowledge articles and you can configure a settings page by using the configure option in the menu. There are 65 portal related components available to you to build your page. There are some drawbacks. You can't browse by topic. You can't use chat or notifications. And even though you can create and view requests, there is no cart feature. You're not able to view your profile either. This is an example of a travel blog I built with some cards on it that link to records. The cards were created by EVAM Data Resources and their components. EVAM is an acronym that stands for Entity, View, Action, and Mapper. The entity is the data source. It's the table behind the card or UI Builder component. Views are the layout for how we want to display the data, whether I want to use a card or I can use a list as well. Actions are what happens when you click on the card or when you interact with it. They could take me to a record, interact with a parent record. You could navigate to an external URL, add incidents to a problem record per se, open a knowledge article, or open the form to edit a record which I set this one up to do. So if I click on one of these cards, you can see it opens the blog form behind the card and I can edit the record and save it. The M in EVAM stands for maps and it determines which fields appear on the card. You can see that in my travel blog, I have a short description, which is up here. I have a title, who it was written by, and the state of the blog. Opening the record behind the scenes like I showed is a pretty common action, and this simple use case is a great idea for how to get started with a UI Builder portal. You could make a department intranet site, or things of that nature. Things that are kind of simple and you don't want to spend a lot of time putting a lot of effort into. The ability to drag and drop components make it easy to get all this done. When talking about UI Builder portal, we also want to make sure we separate it from the service portal. It doesn't have the same capabilities. The CSS is more limited in that you only get the CSS variables that ServiceNow provides. In addition, the header construction process uses JSON objects, and those can be a bit challenging for new users. There are some great use cases for UI Builder Portal, though. You just have to be aware of its limitations. More information on how to build what you saw today, as well as use the records and components, can be found at developer.servicenow.com or by using the ServiceNow documentation. Thank you for watching this video on UI Builder Portal.